हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर रिव्यू एंड दिस टाइम विल रिव्यू ऑक्सीजन ओ एस लेवन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन फॉर वन प्लस एट एंड एट प्रो बाय द वे अ सब टू दिस चैनल वुड बी रियली अप्रिशिएटेड एंड इट माइट हेल्प अ चैनल ग्रो फास्टर सो लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट एनी मोर टाइम एंड स्टार्ट विद द रिव्यू ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओ एस लेवन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन हियर वी वोट बी कवरिंग द चेंज लॉग्स विल मोर फोकस ऑन बग फिक्सेस कैमरा एंड परफॉर्मेंस पार्ट one of the major issue what was being reported by our members was related to amazon application which was not being installed on android 11 and if it was already installed they were not able to open it but after this update which is the second stable version amazon app doesn't have any kind of issues everything is working fine i've logged in with my personal account and also people reported that it wasn't getting updated from the play store and here you can see all my applications have been updated to the latest one With Amazon most of the users were also facing issues in downloading videos with hardware acceleration on which is for the prime videos and yesterday i tested out this feature i was not aware about this bug under stream and download i enabled this feature which is use hardware acceleration and after that i downloaded a movie with my mobile data and i did not face any kind of issues here you can see i have already downloaded this movie so this issue has been fixed wherein people were not able to download amazon prime videos after enabling hardware acceleration if you guys are still facing the issue then do let me know in the comment section below users were also reporting issues related to call drops but i have been using this device as my daily driver and till now i haven't faced any kind of issues related to call drop so hopefully this has been fixed with this latest update and another issue was reported while gaming network used to disconnect but as i said this has been fixed and we don't have any kind of issues related to network anymore on oxygen os 11 On the previous update we also had issues related to hotspot and that issue is no more on this latest update of Oxygen OS. Few users were also reporting that auto record calls feature have been removed on the previous update. Basically I don't use this feature but after checking out on this latest update we have the option of auto record calls. Fingerprint scanner has been optimized well and now we don't get any kind of issues with the fingerprint unlock. Now talking about the camera segment with Android 11 we get few new features and a new camera UI with Oxygen OS 11.0.1.1 but some features are removed like focus tracking in video recording and if we talk about camera quality here camera quality seems to be decent in normal lighting condition portrait pictures are also great when it comes to depth effect in most cases we get good edge detection but in some cases device is not able to make out difference between subject and background and it mess up the edge detection so this thing oneplus needs to improve when picture clicked in portrait mode now talking about night mode and videography oneplus have also added feature of nightscape videography and nightscape portrait mode have also been added we have these timer options in which you can set timer between 3 seconds 5 seconds and 10 seconds and here we have samples of the same and i don't see much of difference in the photo click with default timer or by selected max timer of about 10 seconds basically i don't find any difference with max timer picture should have been more brighter but that's not the case here nightscape portrait mode i think it's of no use here we don't get to see that bokeh effect when it comes to portrait nightscape photos now talking about nightscape videography and with oxygen os 11.0.1.1 Improvements can be seen with video shot in nightscape mode and video portrait mode works with both human and animal but slight improvements are still required when it comes to recording animals video in portrait mode Overall I'm not that happy with camera performance of second stable update instead of adding more features OnePlus should focus on improving camera performance what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below now let's talk about the battery part which is always an issue with 90% of audience i've tested my OnePlus 8 charging with optimized charging feature on and optimized charging feature off without optimized charging feature my device heats up a little bit temperature which i recorded after 100% was 41 degree celsius but charging device with optimized charging feature on my device max temperature noticed was 38 degree celsius so to avoid overheating of your device make sure you use the optimized charging feature on your OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro Talking about the battery backup, one thing always keep in mind, battery backup depends on tons of factors like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi strength, mobile network, your mobile network strength and many more along with your usage pattern. So battery backup won't be same for every individual. But here is what I have been getting on my OnePlus 8. First day I got 5 hours and 30 minutes 
with normal usage only with mobile data after second cycle i got 4 hours and 51 minutes and with third cycle i got 5 hours and 35 minutes so it's a decent battery backup and this battery backup was without always on display i basically use 90 hertz and with ambient display on oxygen os 10 i used to get around 6 hours with the same usage pattern and overnight battery drain is also little more with android 11 On day 1 I noticed 11% of battery drain overnight on day 2 it was around 8% battery drain third day I saw slight improvements when I noticed only 4% of battery drain and on the fourth day I turned off my data and here I noticed only 3% of battery drain so battery drain overnight was slightly more initially but it got improved now and I'm okay with 4 to 5% of battery drain in ideal conditions drop down your thoughts on the battery drain after oxygen os 11 update now moving on to the performance part performance seems to be great on android 11 on my oneplus 8 after this latest update ram usage have also come down to around 5 gb initially it was around 5.3 to 5.4 gb of ram usage on the previous update i've also been doing gaming on this device and i don't have any issues with performance while gaming but in very rare cases i also found touch issues while gaming and few people have also reported the same issue on oneplus community forum if you guys are facing issues related to touch while gaming then do let me know in the comment section below let's see if oneplus fixes this issue in future updates and after this update device doesn't even get more heated up while doing gaming after doing gaming for around 1 hour device temperature was around 45 degree celsius and which is okay every device heats up when we play heavy games with higher graphic settings so i'm happy with android 11 when it comes to performance OnePlus needs to work on few segments like camera and battery. Rest everything seems to be okay with Android 11. People have also been reporting issues related to screen calibration, but I think OnePlus has done their best to fix those grain tints on OnePlus 8 series and now they don't even consider it as hardware issue. So guys, this was a complete review of Oxygen OS 11.0.1.1 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. Hope all your issues have been addressed. If you're still facing any kind of issue, then drop me a comment in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.